All right, now, what have we got going on down here? Well, to get here from the zero, this is the zero, you go around 180 plus a bit. How much? Plus theta. So we call this 180 plus theta. That's its most basic name. But of course, it would have other names. You could go all the way around and then do 180 plus theta. So you can add 360 to it. You can also take 360 away from it. And those names go on for an ever and ever, ever and ever that way. Now, have we got a 180 plus theta over here that we can do? Yes, we do. Let's do this one next. Okay, so 180 plus theta, finding the sec of that, or the tan or the sine, or any ratio you like, is exactly the same as finding the sec of theta, except you have to think about whether it's positive or negative. So, have a look at your all stations to central. We're down here when we're doing 180 plus theta. So we know we're in the third quadrant. Now the only thing that's positive there is tan, okay? Now if tan is positive, one over tan, it's reciprocal, cot, that'll also be positive, won't it? So what have we got? We've got sec, that's not gonna be positive down there. Sec is the reciprocal of cos, and that's negative down in that third quadrant. So it's gonna be just like sec theta, except it's negative, because it's in the third quadrant, okay? Now, have a look at this last one down here. We have this ray. Now, the most obvious way to get to here is to start at zero and go backwards. So, it's one of its more simple names would be minus theta, okay? But you could also get there by going in the positive direction. You could go all the way around to 360 and then take off theta. So, it's got another really common name, 360 minus theta, okay? Now, you could also get to either of those by adding 360 or taking away 360. So obviously the names go on and on. 360 minus theta, 720 minus theta, etc., etc. And here we could have minus 360 minus theta as well, on and on. Okay, have we got one like that? Yes, we've got two. Let's do this one first. So finding the sine of minus theta is exactly the same as finding the sine of theta, except it's not the same quadrant, so you have to think about whether it'll be positive or negative there. Now, we are in the fourth quadrant. The only thing positive there is cos, and we've got sine, so it will be negative. Done. All right, what about this one? Cos of 360 minus theta. Well, that's exactly the same as the cos of theta, except we have to think about the sine of it. Is it positive or negative? It's in the fourth quadrant. Cos is positive there. So the cos of theta is positive, it's up here, and the cos of minus theta is also positive. They're the same. So we're done, the cos of theta. We considered whether it needed a negative there, and it didn't. We're finished. So we've done all of those. And most of it came from our understanding of just knowing that the sine cos or tan, or, or sec cosine and cot of theta, is exactly the same as 180 minus theta, 180 plus theta, or 360 minus theta or minus theta, they're all the same except that when you're doing these ones in the second, third and fourth quadrant, you've got to consider if it's positive or negative there and put a negative in front or not. Okay, quite simple. Now, this one's harder. Why is it harder? Well, it's sort of more of a two-step process. Now, 90 plus theta is not any of our nice little names here, so we have to think a little bit harder for this one. Now, what I'd like to do now is let's just get make a bit of space up here where our Pythagorean identities are because we don't really need those right now. Get rid of that too. Now, if I just draw in another one of these, imagine that theta is down here. Now, we want 90 plus theta. So if we have theta and then we go another 90 degrees, we're going to have a right angle there, aren't we? Oops, that's not very straight. All right, so what we're saying is we want the cos of this, okay? We want the cos of that. So we're in the second quadrant. Is cos positive or negative there? It's negative, isn't it? But before we get to that, what we really need to know is if we're finding the cos of something that's over here, we actually always need to know what this angle is, don't we? Let's not call it theta because that one's called theta. Let's call it beta. Okay, a bit messy, sorry about that. Now, why is that? Well, if we're finding the cos 
or any ratio for that matter of something in the second quadrant, we don't want to know that angle. We want to know this angle down here, okay? Because that tells us it'll be the same as the cos of the angle over here, except of course you have to think about whether it's positive or negative. So we need to know beta to be able to answer this question. Now, I know something about beta. All these three, these three angles, this one's 90 degrees, and these two, they all add up to 180, don't they? So if this one's 90, these two must add to 90. Okay, so instead of calling it beta, I'm going to call it a cleverer name. I'm going to call it 90 minus theta. Okay, because if I take 90 minus theta and I add it to theta, I'll have 90 degrees, and I know that these two add to 90. Okay, so what have I found out? Well, what I've found out is that if I want to find the cos of this ray here, then I need to start by giving it a name that I know what to do with. This name was no fun for me, okay? So I want to name it again. So what I really want to find then is I want to find the cos of, now, this angle here is the thing that I'm going to use as my, I usually use it as my theta, right? But I want to do 180 minus that because when I'm in the second quadrant, that's what we call that, isn't it? Whatever that is, we want to do 180 minus it. So what I want to find is I want to find the cos of 180 minus this. Now this is a compass thing, so let's put it in brackets, 90 minus theta. Okay. Now, extra set of brackets there. Now what happens when I expand these brackets? I'll just turn this so you can see. I've got 180 minus 90, so let's rewrite this, that's 90, okay, and if I was to expand the brackets, I'm going to get plus theta. Now why have I done that? I've pretty much just rearranged the question. I'm just proving to you that those two things are the same, because have a look what happens. When I expanded the brackets, I got back to where I started, so this must be correct thinking, all right? Now, obviously, I don't want to use that because that's just going to take me back to where I started, but I'm just proving to you why this is going to work. Okay, next step. Whenever we're finding the cos of 180 minus something, for example, if I just asked you that as a basic question, cos of 180 minus, let's call it A, so we're not dealing with these thetas and things, what's that equal to? Well, it's exactly the same as the cos of A, isn't it? We know that, except it's in the second quadrant, so it's negative. So if we know how to do this conversion, then we should be able to deal with this. The 180 minus something, it's exactly the same as the cos of that something. Except it's in the second quadrant, so it is negative. Okay, what now? Well, now I've got this. The cos of 90 minus theta, hey, I know that's the same as the sine of theta. Sweet. So that's the same as minus sine theta. Okay, so this was the trickiest one, <clears throat> but we got there, and a picture really helped us. Now, another little hack that will help you is check your answer. You can check an answer, even though there's no um, numbers in here for theta. I could just check and see if this is true. How do I do it? Just sub in some angle. Anything will do. Let's say if theta was, say, 20. All right, cos of 90 plus 20, that's the cos of 110. So put in your calculator, cos of one, whoops, cos of 110, and it gives me this, negative 0 0.34, blah, blah, blah. Okay, is that the same as the negative sine of 20? Look, we're letting the theta be 20, aren't we? So now put in sine of 20, you get positive 0.34, but if with a negative in front of it, it would be negative, it'd be exactly the same. So see how you can actually check your answers right and then be more confident knowing that you've actually got to the right place.